I've seen plenty of videos on the internet saying how GWR first class is now the worst kind of first class. I'm here to put that to the test and see if it's really worth the steep price tag. actually the second time I've been on Great Western Railway first class. The first time was in 2021 and I don't remember the food or anything being quite substantial. Who knows, maybe they might have changed it since then. And let me give you a bit of backstory about what Great Western Railway actually is if you've never been with them or just don't know who they are. Great Western Railway is a railway service located in the southwest, um, typically used to go from Penzance to London Paddington. It usually stops over Bristol, Temple Meads, Reading, Paddington and stations such as that. Recently they did, they did an overhaul of their fleet um, going from class 43s with the HSD 125s to a much more, more modern 802 variant of the trains. The first class um, on these trains have seen a su substantial decrease in quality. <laughs> our train for the day. And a good sign that we were off on the good foot, hot drinks were provided as soon as we left the station. I got a hot chocolate and one of these really nice ginger biscuits. And yeah, it tasted pretty good, um, the hot chocolate is really good, the ginger biscuits are really nice as I just said. Yeah, the um, food so far is pretty good. So now that we're in the journey, I think it's time to check out the toilets. Lock the door. The door is now locked. Okay, so, one of the best things about um, this toilet here is got a very nice like, kind of switch thing here that you can use to lock and unlock, and there's a nice little button. It's much nicer than a normal um, toilet, I must admit. Um, the actual toilet itself, um, the water's quite difficult due to the boiling face uh, sensor. The soap's alright, I guess, but it's. It could, no, that's no, alright. And, um, so yeah, it's quite hard to get the water out. Um, where is the sensor? Oh, there. Oh, okay. Um, and the dryer works well enough, I guess. And the actual, the actual toilet itself, it's okay. It's clean. And you can press it to your button, and then you can flush. So now you just unlock it, press the button, like some kind of thing, it'll start it. Okay. So, over here we have a standard glass toilet. A lot more crammed in here. There's probably a bit less headroom. The toilet is that nice, if I'm completely honest. Um, there is a coat hanger, for if you want to hang a coat, I guess. And the exact same system is with the water, sensor space pool. It doesn't even work this time. Um, other than that, it's, it's very cramped. I don't know if you can, um, don't know if you can tell, but this is it. This is all you're getting if you're in standard class. And so, this is where you store your bikes. And there's my golf club, I guess. And yeah. So, as we leave Ellington uh, Parkway, I just want to say my initial thoughts. The, the drinks are really good, the staff are very friendly. Um, 
this ginger biscuit here that I got it's very, very tasty. And now it's just on our way to Taunton now. I just want to say thank you to Super Alps Travel for the idea for this video. And I'm just not going to try and make it a blatant copy, but I just want to say that is, it was his idea and, it, and I give all credit to him for this video's idea. specific and very few trains actually have that but other than that it's a very very nice experience and I would highly recommend it to anyone if they're willing to pay the amount here's the, here's the twist thanks to this lovely person I actually get a discount so we're only really paying around 20 quid for the journey so for 20 quid it's it's worth it yeah I think it's a good amount good for 20 quid but 104 quid sure okay so this is standard class um and immediately i can tell that um there is less comfort and amenities down here it's like 60 quid sitting here and i would not pay that but then again i wouldn't pay 109 pounds or 50 pence to go sit in first class either so real travel here is quite expensive Um, consider subscribing because if you like stuff like this, railway journeys and just stuff to do with railways in general, uh, subscribe, you know, it's a good place to be and it's quite easy, just click on the button. So overall, for the amount of stuff that you get compared to the price, I think for the meal, the, the complimentary of the food and drinks and snacks and the comfort of the chairs, I'd pay around 50 quid for it. I would not pay £104.50. So, with all that I've said, it's fine, yeah, but I wouldn't pay for it. Like, I get it, but I wouldn't pay for it that much. I'd pay like 50 quid. Anyway, um, thank you for watching this episode, and if you like stuff like this, like travels and reviews and everything, make sure to um, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.